there are two types of Korean numbers, the native and Sino-Korean numbers. But this time, we're going to learn about the native Korean numbers. On this video, we're going to study numbers 1 to 10 of the native Korean numbers. Number 1 is Hana in native Korean numbers. Again, Hana is number 1. This is composed of two syllables. The first syllable is Ha, second syllable is Na. Pronounce it with me. Hana. How do we spell Hana in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable Ha in Hangul, we need to draw first a He character followed by an A character. For the second syllable Na, we need to draw first a Nian character followed by an A character. Number two, dul, dul. This is just composed of one syllable, which is dul. Pronounce it with me, dul, dul. How do we spell dul in Hangul? First, we need to draw first a dicot character, followed by an u character, followed by a real character. And then we just have to combine this to form the hangul of number 2, which is tul. Next is number 3. The native Korean version of number 3 is set. Pronounce it with me. Set. If you would notice, set is spelled with a set character at the third position. But take note that this is pronounced with a T sound. First, we need to draw a C character, followed by an E character, followed by another C character. If you would notice, the ending sound of C is actually a T sound. And if the C character is located on the third position of the syllable, it will have the T sound. Therefore, this is pronounced as set and not ses. And that is number three, set. Next, the native Korean version of number four is net. This is just composed of one syllable. Pronounce it with me, net, net. Just like on the case of set, the last C character will have the T sound. So it's pronounced as net. How do we spell net in Hangul? First, we need to draw a Nian character followed by an E character followed by the Siat character. Since Siat is on the third position, it will have the T sound. So this will be pronounced as net instead of ness. Next, the native Korean version of number 5 is Dasot. Pronounce it with me. Dasot. This is composed of two syllables. The first syllable is da, the second syllable is sot. Again, it's da sot. How do we spell da sot in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable da in Hangul, we need to draw first a dicot character followed by an a character. For the second syllable sot, we need to draw first a siat character followed by an o character followed by a siat character. Next, the native Korean version of number 6 is yosot. Again, yosot. This is composed of two syllables. The first syllable is yo, the second syllable is sot. Pronounce it with me. Yosot. Yosot. How do we spell yosot in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable yo, we need a placeholder ian followed by a yo character. For the second syllable sot, we need to draw first a siat character followed by an o character followed by another siat character. Next, the native Korean version of number 7 is ilgop. Again, ilgop. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is il. Second syllable is gop. Pronounce it with me. Il gop. 
Ilgop. How do we spell Ilgop in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable Il in Hangul, we need to draw first a placeholder Iyang, followed by an E character, followed by a real character. For the second syllable Gop, we need to draw first a Gia character, O character, and a Bia character. Next, the native Korean version of number 8 is Yodol. Again, Yodol. The first syllable is Yo, the second syllable is Dol. Pronounce it with me. Yodol. Yodol. How do we spell Yodol in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable Yo, we need to draw first a placeholder Iyang. Followed by a yo character. Take note that PH stands for placeholder. The second syllable dol will be written by drawing first a decat character, followed by an o character, followed by a real character, and lastly, a b character. Next, the native Korean translation of nine is ahop. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is a, second syllable is hop. Pronounce it with me. A hop. A hop. How do we spell a hop in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable a, we need to draw first a placeholder iang followed by an a character. For the second syllable hop, we need to draw first a hio character followed by an o character. Followed by a B character. And the last for this video is number 10. Its native Korean version is Yol. This is just composed of one syllable, which is Yol. Pronounce it with me. Yol. Yol. How do we write Yol in Hangul? Let's start with drawing a placeholder Iyang, followed by a Yo character, followed by a real character. And then we just have to combine this to form the hangle of the word, or number 10, which is Yol. And with that, you have already learned the native Korean numbers 1 to 10. Next, we'll study the Sino-Korean numbers.